Hello, feminines. <laughs> I let them burn a little bit longer than I should. I just felt powerful. Hi, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I hope everybody had a good week. I'm sending you some positive energy. Here, cleanse your energy. Lean in. Do, do, do. Um, <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, new products. So, humor me for just one moment. I have my new scrubs. So I have a Venus, Mars, and uh, Mercury, and Jupiter. So I explain what signs these resonate with, what vibrations these resonate with. You can see it a little bit on there. So these are available now. Um, I don't have my Jupiter with me because I gave it to my mom. <laughs> my friends and family get to test everything that I make. So my mom has the Jupiter one. I also have my sprinkly powders. These you can get a mini, these are eight ounce. You can get a mini four ounce for eight dollars. The uh, big size is um, eight ounces for 14. These do have charged crystals in them. Literally every ingredient, I put an anointing oil um, are blended into these and every ingredient included everything from the fragrance that I make to like the herbs on top and then you know, the anointing oils are all made specifically for that planet. So um, check those out if you're interested. I also have my uh, sprinkling powders are available now. I have five, um, I have one for money. So you sprinkle this in your wallet, in your purse, um, around your uh, home office, you know, your place of business. You just put it in the four corners and it helps attract vibrations. You can put it, you know, just anything, um, it's the same as like anointing oils, but with powders, you can like, if you have like a resume, you can sprinkle this on it. You know, you can't put an anointing oil on your resume. It'll make it foily. So powders are more versatile in that sense. So I have uh, one for money, one for, um, blockages. So this gets rid of blockages. Um, I have one for un unstoppable success. So this is for, um, it's similar to money, but this is for like overcoming all of your difficulties. So everything from financial blocks to, um, you know, like people going against you to, you know, everything just seems to like get in my way. This is kind of for that similar to the block annihilator, but different, different purposes. You can use them in combination. I have a leave me alone powder. This is defense for, um, it's defensive against energy vampires against stalkers, um, against people that, you know, stalk you, gossip about you. The ingredients in here are very protective, especially in regards to energy vampires or narcissists. And then I have a love powder too. So, um, you can sprinkle your clothing, your body, your, um, around your home, you know, they're very versatile. So I have a couple, I have my, um, spiritual essentials article where I explain, uh, sprinkling powders in there. And then in the description on my website, I explain what they can be used for. So check those out if you are interested. Also, real quick, I am doing a tarot reading giveaway. I'm doing um, two readings, one hour, one 30 minute. So um, you need to be subscribed on YouTube, subscribed on or well, following me on Instagram. And then um, that's what you need to do to qualify. And then I will be choosing <laughs> I hope you're following me. Um, I will be choosing who wins um, by, I, I just want to hear because everybody complains about Scorpios and Geminis. Those are the two signs. They're so like over, everybody complains about them. Yeah, we get it, they're the worst. I want to hear because we are in Sagittarius season now and Capricorn season follows. Those are the two holiday season um, signs. I want to hear your Capricorn or Sagittarius horror stories. So please comment. You can comment on any video, any photo that I have. If you don't want to comment, you can message me privately. Um, just tell me <laughs> your horror story dealing with a Capricorn and a Sagittarius. Um, either one, or you can do both. You know, you can do two entries, one Sagittarius, one Capricorn. Your worst horror stories. <laughs> because I think... The Capricorns are some of the meanest people ever. <laughs> Sagittarius are crazy as hell. I am both in my family. Um, so, yeah, I think that in a fun, light way, don't, 
let's let's not get into any dark things but if you have a funny Sagittarius or a funny Capricorn in your life and they did something that was just very that is such a Capricorn thing to do especially um, I like whenever I meet somebody interesting I try to coerce them into giving me uh, into them giving me their birthday and so that I can look up their sign and then it all makes sense when I see it so um, that type of thing where you know knew somebody and they did something that was very predictable of being a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. So not really, looking for like fun stuff, light stuff, guys. Not anything too deep or crazy. I mean, if you need to get it off your chest, get it off your chest, but <laughs> that's really, I'm just, thought it'd be fun to make fun of Sagittarius and Capricorns. You know, take the heat off the Scorpios for a little bit. So anyways, yes, we are going to get into your reading, guys. Um, you you don't even just comment on anything, on anything. It doesn't have to make sense what you're commenting on. I think it would be funnier if you commented on something completely random to tell me this awful story about a Sagittarius ruining your life. Um, yes, that, that is what I'm looking for. And I will be announcing the winners as soon as I get people, you know, uh, as soon as people, the, the stories start rolling in, I'll probably give it like a week or two and then announce like the week of Christmas, something like that. So um, that is how you ap apply to win my giveaway. Follow me, uh, subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, just let me know. And you know, I can, you don't have to create an Instagram to enter the contest, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. <laughs> Hope you guys are in a good mood. I'm kind of in a good mood today, so I'm hoping that's some of your energy as well. Um, we're just gonna do a check-in and see where you guys are. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready now. What do we need to know? What do the feminines need to know, Spirit? Oh, guys, my um, astrology report. I'm doing a monthly astrology report. So every... Um, it's going to be the first week. I'm going to send it out tomorrow. So on my website, you subscribe to my newsletter. So I'm not going to bog you down with emails. I'm going to every first of the month, not first day, first week, I'm going to send out an astrology report. So all the important transits, the moon phases, and, you know, a breakdown of what they mean, what you can expect. So if you are interested in that, sign up for my astrology report. You just subscribe to my newsletter on my website. Um, I will be sending that out tomorrow. You'll also get like discounts and stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to be one of those people that send something out every day, but if you're interested. Okay. Anyway, spirit, can we get messages? <laughs> North node. Okay. That was a lot. Okay. North Node and Sagittarius came out. We're in Sagittarius season now. <sighs> okay, so your North Node is, um, this is an astrology deck and then we're gonna do tarot. So North Node is your destiny in life. Your South Node is your karmic debts and your North Node is your destiny. Um, so if you go and look at your birth chart, they usually have your North node. Some of them don't have your South node, but it's opposite. So they're, they're polars. Um, so your, your North node is going to indicate what is destined for you this lifetime. With Sagittarius next to it, I get that, um, you know, this is talking about Sagittarius season. We're in Sagittarius season right now. So um, you are aligning with your destiny, who you're meant to be right now during Sagittarius season. Um, Sagittarius is the ninth house of higher knowledge, philosophy, religion. So this could be um, aligning with your destiny, growing in your spirituality, questioning religious beliefs, questioning religion that, you know, conditioning that you were brought up to believe. With the stellium here, the stellium is when you have more than three planets in a single house. Um, and it's 
not counting your sun or your moon. So I have uh, four planets in my sixth house. So that is where um, it indicates a uh, abundance of energy in that house. So mine, for instance, the sixth house, it, sixth house is the Virgo house. It's the house of service. So I have a lot of karmic debts around being of service to others in my lifetime. And it's what I enjoy doing, but it can cause some nervousness. Like for me personally, sixth house is your day to day. It's work, it's organization, it's Virgo. So um, with that, I get very anxious if my house is messy. I a lot, a lot of my energy because it's some of my like major planets are in that house. A lot of my energy goes towards work. It's what I enjoy doing. Um, but it can also can create some anxiety there with first house after that um, first house is your house of self it is your ascendant it is how other people perceive you how you perceive yourself how you feel about yourself it's your physical appearance so um really coming into and aligning with your higher path, your destiny here, you know, expanding your knowledge. And I take this, putting a lot of your energy towards, because with the psyllium, you know, that that's a focus of energy on one house. With it um, here, the way that this is set up, you know, <laughs> Is this easier to bring you guys? Let's see. Okay, you see the way these are setting? It would be easier if I moved these. Okay, can you see them? So your destiny here, what you're um, meant to be this lifetime. Coming into that during Sagittarius season right now until the 21st, and then we'll switch over to Capricorn. So these next few weeks is an intense focus on what you're really meant to do. And it's also focusing on your spiritual beliefs, your religious beliefs that have created some um, anxiety towards your uh, perception of yourself and as well as how others perceive you. So I take this as you're starting to break away from the conditioning that you were placed under, you know, like with, with Sagittarius ninth houses, like philosophies, morals, um, religion. So it's kind of learning to find your individual path here, apart from what others have conditioned you to believe. You're beginning to align with what you truly believe and what is true for you. And that doesn't have to be true for everybody. You know, how other people perceive you isn't really as much of your energy as it is their energy directed towards you. You know, people that are insecure with their physical appearance are going to automatically assume um, that people that are better looking than them, that they perceive to be better looking than them are bad people or superficial. And it's really more of they don't feel good about themselves and looking at you makes them feel insecure. So rather than kind of sitting with that insecurity themselves, they project that you are bad onto you so that they don't have to deal with that discomfort of them not liking you solely based on them feeling like you're more attractive than they are. Same with, um, I talked about, you know, in the last reading, I, I think it was the feminines reading, I talked about like generational poverty. It's common for people that have grown up in poverty, that have been conditioned to accept poverty in their life, have kind of learned to view other people that make more money than them or have, you know, just a, a, are better off as an enemy. And, you know, you're not a good person because you have money. You're not a good person because you, you know, went to college or stuck up because you have a college degree when it really has nothing to do with that person and who they are. It's more so that person is insecure about you know their lack of education so they project negative qualities onto you so that you become the villain rather than and they can play the victim rather than you know circumstances in my life have led to this and it really has nothing to do with the other person um with north node five of cups can i get one more to clarify north node spirit wise north node here So 
That's two of wands in the moon. You know, choosing your path and putting, um, your moon is your inner self, but where the moon kind of came out behind this person, putting um, things behind you now. That's, I'm not even taking these cards. Hold on. The moon is can be secrets. It's your inner self, your inner world. So somebody, you know, turning their back on, um, turning their back on things that were tied to their shadow self and looking forward to the new possibilities. So come overcoming the past here, really, because the Five of Cups came out. This is feeling remorseful, being stuck in the past. You know, this person has the Two of Cups right behind them, ready to go, but they're focused on these Three of Cups that have spilled, and they're not able to live in the moment and take advantage of these new opportunities that are at their door, especially Two of Cups is very positive. You know, it's soul love, it's soulmates. Um, but you know, somebody wasn't able to accept new energy into their life because they were focused on um, situations in their past that they thought, because with the Three of Cups is like partying and celebrating. People that they thought were good for them, that they wanted to party and celebrate with, you know, those situations didn't turn out. You know, it, it could be a lost love here. Um, the Three of Swords and the Emperor come out in reverse here and then uh, Saturn at the bottom of the deck. So there has been a karmic completion here of a karmic cycle. Somebody was stuck in their past here with um, three of swords in the reverse. Um, three of swords, swords in the upright would be heartache and sorrow. Somebody is healing from that heartache and sorrow though. And it was in relation to an emperor in reverse. So an emperor in the upright is a divine masculine energy it's a very positive leadership in the reverse um it's somebody that is very controlling angry aggressive this you know could be that there were people in your past that you put a lot of energy in and you wanted to celebrate with you wanted to share good times with with the three of um with you know the three here but that the didn't work out and it was because the person that you were associating with was a very toxic masculine. It was somebody that, you know, they weren't really interested in who you were and having a positive relationship with you. They were more so interested in control. And because of this, it, it kept you from being able to pursue your destiny here because you were tied to a dark masculine energy. Um, but you're healing from that and aligning with your path here. It was a, a karmic lesson you needed to learn. Um, and you, you've overcame it here. Let's see. Why is this emperor in reverse? Yeah, this could be also be your masculine feminines because out with that came the crown and the witch again. So, you know, um, divine with the crown, the witch coming out, this is spell work. I actually got out my spell work deck because with this coming out, I don't want to do a karmic reading per se just because I hate their energy so much, but I feel like with the magic coming out, I want to empower you guys to know what type of magic is happening so that you can see if this is happening in your life. And if so, um, you can check out that article that I did on how to uh, how to uh, cleanse your energy of dark magic. Why is the witch coming out, spirit? So, um... People were coming against you in the past and it was because you are divine here. You are divine feminine and um, they were toxic masculine. We've, we've talked about this quite a bit in our readings, guys. Toxic masculine energy wants to dominate and control. They don't, you know, it's, it, they're not capable of love when they're in that energy. It's a, everything is a competition. I need to dominate you. I need to control you. I need 
you know, total control over every situation. So it's a very abusive type energy. Um, somebody using dark work here, either on, you know, if this is a masculine, a divine masculine, you know, somebody using dark work to control them, um, or, you know, this dark masculine used dark work on you, you know, this could be a karmic masculine that you were tied to that created a lot of heartache and was really a distraction from your, um, path in life and you felt you feel regretful of allowing this person into your life allowing them to hurt you the way that they did but you're healing from that now um with clarifying the spell work the root chakra came out so this is you know your very first chakra when somebody does spell work against your root chakra it will collapse your entire chakra system and it gets you in a place of fear and struggling to find um your roots in life you know you don't feel safe so you're not able to pursue higher goals in life when you are focused on survival this is like getting you in survival survival mode what else came out was friends and family so you know this could be dark karmic people that you're friends with dark karmic family that were sending you negative energy you know this could be anything from getting a practitioner to evil eye they're just very jealous of you you might have had very jealous friends and family that um you know sent the evil eye your way gossiped about you got in your ear told you negative things got in other people's ears about you Cords at the bottom of the deck. So, um, yeah, it, it was done to bind your energy to them. It was It's a vampire type energy. Somebody just wanting to feed off of your divinity here. Somebody wanting to feed off of your divinity. It's still your manifesting light. It's still your power. They were jealous of you. They wanted to control you. So they did that by attacking your root chakra, making you feel unsafe and unworthy and a, in a scarce lack mentality. So this can be somebody doing attacks on your, you know, um, financial situation, on your home situation, on your close relationships, doing attacks on your friends and family. You know, um, take it how it's resonating, but you can't pursue your goals in life when you're focused on, I don't know if I'm going to have a house to live in in a week, you know. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys, if you're dealing with that. Um, I'll put my uh, how to deal with negative spell work in my description. So this is either toxic, karmic, uh, friends and family, somebody that is toxic and karmic doing spiritual attacks on your friends and family, you know, take it how it resonates here, but there is some type of dark work going on. And again, this could be your masculine that I'm picking up on. Your masculine was in a emperor reverse and it was because they had friends and family that did magic on them to get them in this survival mode so that they would be easier to control and manipulate. If you're in survival mode, and I'm, oh, I'll give you money. Oh, I'll give you a place to stay. You know, later I can throw that in your face and you're reliant on me because now, you know, you are relying on me for somewhere to stay. You're relying on me for finances. It's really common financial abuse. Um, it's very common in abusive relationships. If I control the finances, you can't leave because I'm, you know, I'm going to keep you from that money. I'm going to check your bank account. I'm going to ensure that you aren't able to leave me. <sighs> With Sagittarius, the devil, and Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is a waiting, manifesting. The devil and the Seven of Cups is very contradictory energy. The devil is a Capricorn. Could be connecting with a Capricorn um, or an Aries with the Emperor and Aries. Um, the devil 
is excess. So overeating, over drinking, overspending, um, double energy here, keeping you tied to something. Um, with 10th house, Capricorn rules the 10th house. 10th house is um, your social status. So somebody using religious beliefs with Sagittarius here, morals, to keep you tied to them. Or, you know, this could be your masculine. Why is the devil here? Why is Ten of Cups? Yeah, there was some devil energy playing out in your lives, guys. Again, it could have to do with this emperor in reverse. I do take that this is a person in your life. So it's either, you know, was um, your masculine or you have a karmic masculine here that uses dark energy um, to get you in a lower vibration. They manipulate your friends and family or, you know, it's a dark masculine that is a friend or in your family. Again, how it resonates. Um, that was dark energy to keep you tied to them, but that's ended here with the death card. You are aligning with your destiny. You are aligning with beliefs that are true for you. And that is pulling in with the anchor. It's pulling in what's going to be happy for you. So you're breaking free from this devil energy. And because of that, coins are coming to you. God will bless you when you align with your purpose and you don't allow others and their devil energy to affect you. You know, people living in devil energy may have money temporarily. And that money was used by the devil to pull them in. But it's the people that are, you know, millionaires and suicidal. The ones that are using drugs and alcohol to cope with their demons inside. It's not a glamorous life being in devil energy. And you know, those people tend to flaunt themselves all over social media, but it's really because they're looking for validation because they're not happy inside and fooling everyone into thinking that they're happy. They think that that will somehow bring them happiness, but it, it's, not, it's not the way. Two cups. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So some anxious energy and it's it's karmic here. Somebody, um, and I take this as your masculine, somebody is in love with you, wanting to move towards you. Again, this could be your masculine's energy. This might not even be yours, but I take it how it's resonating. Um, you, feminines and masculines tend to mirror each other anyway. So this could be, you know, you had a karmic, they had a karmic. You broke free from the karmic and you're aligning with your happiness and now they're mirroring you in the same way. Um, with the stellium here, it is karmic energies that create, um, it creates anxiety in, you know, in the house that it's in because you just have, you know, each planet carries their own type of vibration and energy. When you have like a, a mixture of intense planets in one house, it creates anxious energy. So with the Knight of Pentacles, this is Taurus energy, somebody moving towards you, but they're very skeptical and they're moving slow. And it's because of the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, they, um, this is somebody that you're not talking to and they may be struggling financially right now and you don't know and it, it's because of this other energy that they were in somebody has left them in a five of pentacles or you're not talking to this person and they feel left out in the cold by you they're worried that you know you're going to leave them and they're there handicapped so they've been skeptical moving towards you but it really is baggage from other relationships it's not you Yeah, there's been a rejection here. Somebody tried to return to, um, if this is your masculine, somebody tried to return to their life. Somebody that um, they have family ties with.
somebody that's been in their life for a long time because six of cups is like a nostalgia card so somebody that tried to plan their emotions oh we have history together oh you know we've had all this together um i want to come back it, it was a karmic relationship here somebody is rejecting a karmic that tried to return in order to move on with your life could be a cancer because you want a new beginning in love or they do somebody um Knight of uh, King of Swords is an Aquarius energy. Somebody has gone cold on somebody else, cutting people out because they've had epiphanies that they need to close karmic cycles. So, you know, that's pretty clear energy. Um, so this is either you're doing this or you're masculine or both, you know. You might be mirroring each other. You're cutting out karmic people that left you in the Five of Cups that, you know, use dark energy to manipulate you and get you in a scarce mentality. And they're doing the same here. The Two of Cups, Door, with the Knight of Pentacles, Coins again, Black Cat at the bottom of the deck. So I talked about this, um, Black Cat here is common in spell work. I did not say what type of spell work it is in because karmics watch these, but they're already doing it and the type of people that would watch this and hear me say that would Google it anyway. So what is black cat care used in spells? What type of spells specifically? It is used in breakup spells. Black cat hair and black dog hair is used in spells to turn people against each other. There might have been some anxiety with you and the soul partner here. Skeptical, slow to move forwards, you know. This is like one step forward, two steps back within your relationship. There was real love there. There was a real soul connection, but you were skeptical and cautious of each other. And it really had to do with this negative energy from the past. People wishing ill on you and wishing to turn you against each other. The black cat in this deck is a sign of, you know, things are going to turn around, a change in luck. But, you know, I just wanted to say that because... Somebody, you know, did magic to get you to turn against each other here. And that's really what the skeptical energy is about. But doors are opening towards the abundance. And it really has to do with aligning with your soul path. Paying off karmic debts. And welcoming in um, your soul family. So mutually beneficial relationships. People that fill up your cup. With the first house, can we clarify, Spirit? The seven of pentacles. I'm just going to take the top. I don't want to take that full thing. Um, ten of swords. So cycles, cycles of betrayal, backstabbing have ended here. With the seven of pentacles, five of swords in reverse, and then the nine of pentacles. So somebody I'm here barking in the background, don't mind it. With the seven of pentacles waiting, trying to So again, <laughs> if this is your masculine they're waiting to come towards you because there was conflicts in their life that they're letting go of. This is also ego. So somebody needed to work on their ego and letting go of toxic relationships. This is very narcissistic relationships that affected how they viewed themselves and how they viewed you. Somebody is becoming single and self-efficient. So if you're not speaking with your masculine, um, that's what's going on, it looks like, is they are waiting to come towards you because they're closing out cycles, cycles with dark people that, you know, um, backstabbed them, betrayed them, got them in low energies, influenced them to be an emperor in reverse, toxic, controlling, aggressive, let's see. Yeah, um, the mask, chaos, 
trickster. There were people in their lives that were causing chaos, that were pretending to be friends, but they were really hiding their true intentions. The tree came out, it fell on top of the two of cups. So this could be that there are ancestors on the other side that are trying to direct you back towards each other, back towards your soul partner. Um, there are perhaps family, soul family, that are helping guide your masculine, helping guide you on this journey. Um, somebody has had an, a, a spiritual awakening here. They don't want to be tied to this narcissistic, I need to win at all costs, I'm going to dominate you type of energy. They're letting that go here because they're realizing that that's not who they really were. That was what other people were putting on them. And it created a lot of falseness in their life, um, a lot of dependency on these people because they were allowing these other people to define them and control them. And it caused them to reject you because you didn't align with this life that these other people had created for them. And they're coming to that realization now through a spiritual awakening. So I hope that was helpful, guys. I will see you again soon. Again, um, sign up for my astrology report. It is free. You will get it monthly. It, I'll be sending it out tomorrow. Um, that's on my website. If you are uh, experiencing negative side effects of what you think might be spell work, check out my uh, article on that in my description. I will see you soon. Bye.